A rational number takes two forms. Can take one of any two forms. First one is called it small a. A. It can take a form which we call it as what is called an exact volume or it's a terminating volume. It's called a terminating fraction. It's a, a terminating fraction form. Terminating fraction. Or we simply call it, it's an exact value form. Or an exact value. form. Now what can this fraction look like? Well, examples of a terminating value or an or of terminating fraction form. Examples are one half, a quarter, three quarters, and so on. Now, why are these called terminating our exact value? Because we can say that one half is equal to 0 0.5 as a fraction, change to decimal. That's the exact value, 0 0.5. A quarter is equal to 0 0.25. That's the exact value. And so on. This is 0 0.75. Now, we can also have something called 22 over 7. This also what is what is called an exact value or a terminating value. Now this has an exact value or terminating value as well. But for now, let me show you now. So we have what is called a terminating fraction or what is called a repeated form. Okay, so let's move on to the next one now. Part B, we can call this, it's called a recurring form. decimal form or we simply say it's repeated it's a repeating repeated decimal okay so what are the examples of Repeating decimal. Examples are, as the name suggests, repeated or recurring means. We have that one third, which is equal to 0 0.6666 and so on. So because we keep having a repeat of the six, we can write this, or we can write this as 0 0.6 and put above it a little period means that it repeats itself. We also have things like two thirds, which is zero. This is zero point, or this is zero point three three, sorry. It should be three, three, three. Right, and so on. And it should be known as zero point three. Right, sorry about that. All right, and then now this is equal to zero point six, 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 and so on which is a 0 0.6. And the dot above it shows that it repeats at 6. So those are called recurring decimal. And we also have what is called 22 over 7. All right, so let's move on quick now. OK, so we have this, this look at one more, 22 over 7. Now, this is equal to 3.142857, 142857. When do we stop? 
we never stop because it is a repeating decimal, a recurring fraction. If you realize that from here to here shows that it starts all over. It's like a period start all over. So it's 3.142857, 142857, 142857. So it's a recurring or repeated decimal form. Okay, we can stop there and move on now to the last form now. So this is now called the terminating. It has an exact value. These are called recurring or repeated decimal form. So that's called a rational number. And the last one now is called an irrational number. But ladies and gentlemen, this can go on and on and on. So I'm going to stop for convenience and move on to the last one called irrational. Irrational number. Now some people denote it by what is called Q complement or simply because irrational starts with high. So the usage of, use, usage of the letter I simply because irrational starts with I. Now, so this is saying that then an irrational number is going to be like the, is the other side of the same coin where it's natural, the next set of, of rational. So rational can be expressed as a fraction, but irrational cannot be expressed as a fraction. So we can say that these numbers cannot be expressed as fractions. These numbers cannot. Cannot. A rational number can, but these cannot. Cannot be expressed as fractions. When a numerator and denominator are integers. When a numerator or denominator are integers. So unlike rational numbers that can be expressed as a fraction, irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a fraction. Example, examples are we have this called the root of two, we have root three, we are also of pi, which most people know what it is. Now, root 2 is irrational. Why? We cannot express as, say, p over q as a fraction. It cannot be expressed as a fraction way of an exact value, or it's called a terminating value, or a recurring decimal form, just like a rational form. Because this can only be expressed to some degree of accuracy. It does have an exact value. For instance, I can express it to 10 decimal place, like 1. 0.4142135623. This is to what? To 10 expressed to? To 10 places of decimal. So we can have access to the fraction form. Similarly, root 3 can be expressed as a decimal form like that. This is 1.732050807, and so on. That call is 5. Expressed to 10 decimal place. Now the pi that people talk about all the time is really, it's a Greek alphabet, 
Now this is really, this is not 22 over 7 by the way. Persons confused by 4, 22 over 7, that's why I wrote this deliberately. 22 over 7 is the number that is closest to pi. In fact, this is 3.1.4.1.5.9.2.6.5.3.5. Express to what is called 10 decimal place. To, to 10 decimal place it. To 10, express to 10 decimal place. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the difference between irrational and rational is that the, the rational numbers can be expressed as a fraction form where you can have a terminated number or a what is called repeated decimal. If you look at the irrational form, ladies and gentlemen, there is no repeat. And like the rational number, which is repeated or the recurring one, you see the repeat taking place at 142857 one, one, or 130.66666, 1.33333. Uh, 2 30, 0 0.66666 and so on. So you see the, the trend in terms of repeated digits or numbers, whereas this one shows no repeat. These show no repeat. Sometimes persons confuse rational with irrational. So we are saying that clearly pi is not 22 over 7. The reason why they use pi as 22 over 7 is that 22 over 7 is the only number that behaves like pi. It's the closest number. In mathematics, under the sun, that behave like pi, like pi. 22 over 7 resembles pi. What pi really is, pi shows the ratio of the diameter of a circle to the circumference. What, what pi really is, is the ratio of the diameter to the circumference of any circle. So as time goes by, we'll tell you more about it. But pi must not be confused as 22 over 7. It's not equal to 22 over 7. 22 over 7 is the only number that is close to pi. It looks like it. 3.142. To the small place, 3.142, where you can use 3.14 really. If you run off, it can be 3.142, as you can see right here. So this is the only number that resembles pi. Okay, and then the last thing I need to say to complete this chapter is that we can now show the relationship between what these number systems, ladies and gentlemen. The relationship, there's a relationship between all of them. What is that? There is a link between all of these number systems. In that what? We can say that natural number is a subset of all numbers, which is a subset of integers, which is a subset of rational numbers. So ladies and gentlemen, we can also show what is called a Venn diagram to show the relationship between them. So if I have what is called the Venn diagram by its horizontal representation, let's try, let's try it bigger for clarity. By way of what, say a Venn diagram with a horizontal representation, you can say that this is that natural number, numbers, which is a subset of what? All numbers, which is a subset of what? Integers. Come now, pay attention and walk with me. Which is a subset of what is called rational numbers. Now you might ask, where does irrational numbers fall? Well, it is outside here. It's a different ballgame totally. So this is a real number system which comprises this five number system. This is called irrational numbers right here. And I can say that, ladies and gentlemen, I can say that. So if we make this conclusion, we can say that, therefore, under the real number system, we can say that rational number comprises what is called rational union irrational. And there's one more called complex numbers, which just comprises what is called real numbers. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I will stop here.